Alrighty, welcome back, boys and girls. It's your main math man, Mr. Shane, coming to you live from Walker Grant Middle School. And in this video, we're going to be working on um, a quick recap of that probability quiz. And we're going to be, uh, be able to, on a separate sheet of paper, write your name, whatever assessment that it may be, whatever it's a test or a quiz. Again, this is how you do your uh, test and quiz corrections. Write the question and the number you missed. Use complete sentences, yes please. And write the answer, uh, why your answer is incorrect. And that's the important part right there. You're trying to see mainly uh, what mistake you made and uh, maybe how you can prevent it. Again, show your work for the correct answer and then attached in and again, you get to earn up to half credit. So. I can go quickly through this. So it says, uh, Hanif and Alex have a pile of cards. I can draw this out for ourselves. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Four yellows, one, two, three, four. Three oranges, one, two, three. And one blue. It says, uh, Hanif will select one card from the deck, not replace it. So again, that's going to be dependent. Dependent. Let me write that correctly. Dependent. Replace it. Not replace it, excuse me. Makes it dependent. And then uh, Alex will select a card. What is the probability of Hanif selecting a blue card and Alex selecting a yellow card? So we're going to say probability of uh, picking a blue first. Again, there is a total of how many? Well, we have a total of 13. So that's going to be, again, our denominator. How many of which are blue? We only have one, and so we are good. Again, we, uh, we say now, all right, the probability of picking a yellow, but it's after we took a blue out. Well, what does that mean? That means this, when you take it out, again, you can cross it out or you know erase it, as long as you're saying that this is 12 remaining. So that means our second denominator is going to be 12. How many yellows are there? There are four. And so we can simplify this fraction before we multiply it, and so this is going to be 1 third. The very last thing you can do for this problem, again, Anytime you have a compound event, meaning two or more events, you're going to say a probability of picking a blue and a yellow. Again, that and means multiply. And so we're going to multiply those two fractions together like so. So we have 1 third and 1 over 13. Multiply the numerators together. 1 times 1 is 1. 13 times 3 is 39. If you change this to a decimal, uh, it would be 0 0.025, which is about 3%. All right. And at any point in time, you can uh, pause, rewind, replay, slow motion, fast motion, whatever it may be. But at least make sure you can hear me for yourself. All right. So now, uh, for the second one, it says a pack containing five red marbles, three yellow marbles. Oh, now let's try reading that again. A bag contains five red marbles and three yellow marbles. Lana will select a marble from the bag two times. So again, make sure you're thinking each time you take an event, it's just one at a time. Even though it might say or read, uh, you know, something like something else, you have to understand it's just taking one at a time. So it says, what is the possibility that Lana will select a yellow on the first and a red on the second? So again, we can uh, draw out our sample space like so. So we have five red. We got three yellow. All together gives us eight total. So that's going to be our denominator. Since it says replace, we know this is going to be independent. Independent. And so we can say this. We say, all right, the probability of picking a yellow First, well, there's eight total, so that's in our denominator. Of those eight, how many are yellow? There are three yellow. Very similarly, 
since it's independent, again, we all we have to do is place it back, and so we have still eight total, five of which are red. Multiply those two fractions together. Again, this is extremely simple. So we have probability of yellow and red, three over eight times that five over eight. Multiply the numerators, 15, and multiply the denominators, 64. If you wanted to change it to a decimal in percent, again, that would be 0 0.23 or 23%. No problem. All right. For the third one, it says the arrow on... Uh, the arrow of each spinner will be spun one time. Again, this is just kind of going back to you're doing one event at a time, two together. So it says, what is the probability the arrow will spin uh, on spinner A will land on a section labeled with a number one? So let's do that first. So what's the probability? Again, it, these are not going to affect each other, so they are independent. And so let's see, probability, how many ones are there on this uh, spinner? We have one, two, three. So our numerator, again, is how many, we just count the number of uh, events that we're looking for out of the total number of possible. So that means the total number of spaces would be three over eight. And then it says, uh, and for spinner B, that's the second one, how many sections are labeled G. So we say probability of, of landing on a G. There's also eight sections, and two of which are the letter G. Again, we can simplify that fraction for ourselves as one-fourth, and we move on. Again, make sure you have these two together. And so you multiply three over eight. And one fourth. Multiply together. Three times one is three. Eight times four is thirty-two. And you have your fraction. Again, if you wanted to change it to a decimal and a percent, you can have those in there. Again, make sure that you're reading uh, the answer choices carefully. Depending on what the answer choices are, you might need to change it to a specific type. All right. Now on the back, uh, for number four, it says Nevea and Noria have some colored cards that are the same size and shape. And uh, this is just uh, trying to let you know that there's, they have, um, you know, no kind of difference or anything like that. You're you're not more likely to pick one or the other. And it says the probability of selecting a blue is twenty. The probability of selecting a red is thirty. What is probability? Nevea will select a card that is not blue. Replace it. Again, this means independent. And then Noria selects a card that is red. So a lot of people uh, just could not comprehend the idea of having a not blue card. Very simply, uh, a way to put it is like this. And so you can either think of a battery or you can think of a perfectly drawn circle. If I'm saying this, I'm saying if this amount right here is 20%, it, that is blue, that means that all the rest of this, all the remaining amount is not blue. So if you have 20% and you're taking from the entire uh, section, how much is left? Well, very good, it is 80%. Again, uh, it just takes a little bit of thought before claiming that you don't understand this, so at least just think carefully. Uh, I did this as a uh, percent. You can do it as decimal or a fraction. So let's, let's actually, since we've been working with fractions, let's do that. So I said, all right, the probability of not blue is going to be 80 over 100. Again, that's what that percent means. It's a special ratio where the denominator is 100. And then the probability of a red is going to be, well, it gives us to it, to us, 30 over 100. Multiply those together, and so we're going to say probability. Again, you can simplify it before we multiply, so let's actually do that. We have 
eight over ten and thirty or excuse me three over ten so I'm gonna say a probability of not blue and the probability of picking a red multiply those two together eight over ten and three over ten so it's going to equal 24 over 100, which is 0 0.24 or 24 percent. Any of those answer, answer choices are correct, as they are all equivalent to each other. And then the very last one in the bottom, it says this. It says, uh, Stephen has tiles of the same uh, size and shape. And let me draw these out quickly for ourselves. We got blue, 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 blue. So we got six of those. We got nine greens. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we got uh, ten oranges. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that means uh, in total, in total, we have twenty-five. Okay, so it says, what is probability that Stephen will randomly select an orange tile and not replace it? And so that means it's going to be dependent. And again, dependent does change the denominator. Dependent and does change the denominator. All right, so what's the probability of picking an orange and then another orange? So that's that rare case of you're doing the same thing twice. So uh, how many total? We have 25. How many of which are orange? We have 10. Again, you can simplify uh, this fraction to be 2 over 5. Again, we take 1 out at a time, and so we have that we take 1 out, and so that means we have 24 remaining. Remaining. Again, that's, that's going to help us out because we need to know what that second denominator is. Meaning this, if we go to pick another orange after we picked an orange already, there are 24 total remaining, how many of which are orange remaining? So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's only 9 on this one. And you can simplify that to be 3 over 8. Again, as always, multiply those two together. So we have probability of orange and an orange. You have 2 over 5 and 3 over 8. Multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. If you simplify that fraction, you should end up with 3 over 20, which is the same as 0 0.15 or 15%. Again, these are all equivalent uh, values. And then it says plot the value of the probability on this number line. Again, the word value is just plot this number, plot this result. Again, you guys do know what that word means, so please be careful of that. And you say, okay, well, I don't know where to put it. Yes, you do. If this is 10 cents and this is 20 cents, but it's in the middle, very good. 15% or 15 cents, whatever works. Make sure that you are uh, again, doing your corrections on a separate sheet of paper, as that's what the directions are. If you have questions for that, please do ask.